So, race 24. And it's the ninth leg of the Moors Million stands over three miles, six furlongs. Caring Emma for Hems. Enemy Flight for Darren Thompson. Fearless Amy for Ryan Tanasebi. Bucko for Martin Leader. Marista for Thomas Rogers. Put the kettle on for D. Hooley. Sheila Citron for Darren Thompson. La Banzi for Craig Beckwith. Pondering Poet for Pontypool Racing. Safinaz Josie for David Robertson. Segreteza Lexi for James Shea. Denison Dinar for Pontypool Racing. And Impure Like for Alex Cherry. Makes up the field. Looking to qualify. In season Moore's Millions final. Three miles and six furlongs to travel. Come off at a fairly slow pace. They swing the left hand and line up for the first of the 15. We'll have to take. It's going to be between Dennis and Denial and Fearless Amy. Rise together. We'll get over that. So Fearless Amy. Dennis and Denial. The length from enemy flight and pondering poet. And the length and half back to the rest. Just as we led by Maritza up against the fence in the green silks. A poor jump there by Safinas Josie. Shuffles towards the rear. Joins Bucko. And up front it's Dennis and Denial that just leads now. So it's Dennis and Denial from Fearless Amy, enemy flight and pondering poet. And the length and a half back to put the kettle on and the segret Tarza Lexi. Green Silk's red cap nearest to us. In between those two horses is carrying a Sheila Citron, carrying ammo towards the fence along with Maritza. Alex Cherry's in pole like. Safinas Josie. Oh, Labanzi's in there as well, sorry. Mr. Beckwith. And Buckle and Safinas Josie just towards the rear. So as they finally get to this third, it's Dennis and Denal that's going to lead them over it. Enemy flight for company. His only has just dropped back into third now. Wandering Poet and Cigarette to Lexi make up the five. So they're through the first half mile or so. Three to go. It's Enemy Flight and Denison Denial. Fearless Amy and Pondering Poet. Cigarette Tetsa. There. Cigarette Tetsa Lexi. And the length or so back to Bucko who's uh, moved up through the chasing pack with Caring Emma. Purple silks have put the kettle in between those. And outside of those, a Sheba Citron. And the length back to La Banzi. And the fence is Impel Wake. Safin has Josie still at the rear. So as you get to the fourth, they all get over that. And now, poor jump at the rear again by Safin has Josie. And now for another circuit here. And still enemy flight under Denison the Denial. The leaders from Fearless Amy. Links back to Secretetsa Lexi. It's pondering back, drifts back into the chasing pack. We'll get over the fifth a little bit better. Another ten jumps to take. There's enemy flight that leads now just by a length. Dennis and Denial. Length and a half back to Fearless Amy. Length and a half further back to Secretetsa Lexi, pondering poet. we will stream over the sixth. It's all too that well. In Pearl White. Pecked on landing. Lost a little bit of momentum towards the rear. out again. Come up to the next. Any fences to be taken over three miles and six furlongs here. Fifteen. One for the horses that enjoy the flat more than the air. We line up again to take the next. It's going to be the enemy flight that's going to lead us over it. Denison Denial. Get to it now. Over that much better jump at the rear by Safinas Josie in Pearl Wright with a little bit slow. Takes up the tail in Charlie position. So it's enemy flight and Denison Denial leads over the eighth. We'll skip over that well enough. I'm starting to get a little bit strung out now. There's probably yeah, the 20 lengths between first and last. So enemy flight. Denison Denial, in the length half back to Fearless Amy, Further th two, three back to Sugretetsa Lexi, Bucko, pondering poet against the fence, wonder about Sheila Citron, the green silks of Maritza, the purple silks have put the kettle on for David Hooley, outside of that is La Banzi, Banzi, Karen Emma, Safinas, Josie, and the Impel Light makes up the field. They're all still on their feet here. Still another further six to take. Still well over a mile and a half to travel. It's 
enemy flight from Dennis and Denal and Fearless Amy. Pretty much been one, two, three throughout. Approach the next, ridden into it well by enemy flight. A good jump. Well, another poor jump of the real game by Impel Like. Drifts off the pack even further now. Slightly going uphill. Go past the grandstand. It's enemy flight that's going to lead past the post from Denison Denali and Fearless Amy. And Secretets Alexi, Bucko, Sheila Citron put the cattle on. All still in this, while maybe Impel likes under a little bit of pressure towards the rear, being hurried along by his jockey. He's got five lengths to get it to the back of the pack. So he'll get over the tenth. And stepped over that. So we left handed again. He horse doesn't look like going left handed. He's not going to like here. But it's enemy flight from Denison Denial. Who this enemy just drops back a little bit to Sigrid Tets Alexi. A slow jump by the leader there. Still running on well at the back is Impel like. So he's jumping down a little bit now. He's still got a fine six, seven lengths to join the rest. So enemy flight, Denison Denial just on his outside. Go over the twelves. All from home. So Greg to Lexi. Lexi takes third on his own now. It's fearless Amy just rests up against the fence. From Sheila Citron and Bucko. Maritz is still in there. So up front is enemy flight. Being pushed along a little bit by his jockey to maintain the lead. Denison Denial following him through. And so left handed again. Enemy flight under a bit of pressure now. Six furlongs still from home, and a couple still to jump. And it's enemy flight is going to lead us over the 13th. Oh, and we've lost one there. Segretetz Alexi didn't get into it well, and he's gone. Unlucky Mr. Shea. But up front, there's a little bit of a change coming up inside the five. Is enemy flight. Pondering Poet makes up a bit of a challenge as they go over the penultimate, so it's enemy flight from Pondering Poet. These two running on really well now. The pack is Safinas, Josie into third. Out wide is still Sheila Citron, and I think that's carrying Emma trying to make up a bit of ground. But up front, Pondering Poet just noses in front inside the final half mile, so it's Pondering Poet from enemy flight. Safinas, Josie carrying Emma on the outside. Ritz is still trying to run on. Sheila Citron doesn't look like she's got anything left. But up front, it's Pondering Pirate for Graham Clutterbuck that leads inside the three. With the final jump to take, Pondering Pirate from Safinas, Josie, Carrie, and Emma. Giving away on the inside is Enema. Enemy Flight, Maritza running on. But it's still Pondering Pirate by half a length. Carrie and Emma starts to go backwards. Safinas, Josie's the only one chasing him through inside the final quarter. So it's Pondering Pirate that whips out. It's Pondering Pirate by a length now to Safinas, Josie. Maritza still trying to run on. Run on. Enemy Flight against the fence. A bit of a slow jump by the leader. Pondering Pirate allows Safinas. Safinas Josie to almost draw alongside, but he's got a little bit left as they get to the final furlong and it's pondering Poet now by a couple of lengths from the Maritza that's running on into second. Enemy Flight's having another go at it, but I think this is going to be a win for pondering Pilot. Poet is going to take this one from running on well. Enemy Flight in second, Maritza from third, Sheila Shitron hung on for fourth. I think Fear the same got up for fifth. So pondering Poet gets to go to the Moore's Million final. I'm not sure if it's the first three. If it is, Mr. Rogers, Mr. Beckwith, and Mr. Clutterbuck have all got horses in the final. So Pondering Poet has taken it from Enemy Flight and Maritza. Well done. So Darren Thompson's Enemy Flight. I'm sorry if I called that Mr. Beckwith's. Maritza is Thomas Rogers. Sheila Citron for Darren Thompson also come in in fourth. And Fearless Amy got up for Ryan in fifth.